Hello everyone. This is the first video of the stream processing series. In this video, we'll be talking about the items that are listed here. First, we will see what is batch processing versus stream processing. Then we will see high level steps that are involved in the stream processing. We will also see some of the use cases and example and what are the value proposition that it brings to an organization. All right, so let's start. Let us understand the difference between batch processing versus stream processing. So on the left side of the screen, you can see, let's say we have one, two, three, and we have four records and we want to process them all at once and we send them to the processing engine and then the processing engine will process it and then generate the result for us. So in the batch processing system, what we did is we fed all of the data together and then the processing engine was able to take care of that. The examples can be simple reports and also analytical reports. Now in stream processing system, let's say we have uh, events coming in. So let's consider this as one event. So the processing engine can take this one event and then process it and can generate the result for us. So in stream processing systems, the processing engine continuously is able to read the data from the source or read the events from the source and then it can process it and generate the result. Now there are two things. One is a single event can be processed. In this case, let's say there is only one event. But in certain cases, micro batches can also be processed. Now, Apache Spark, right, is a, sorry, So Apache Spark is a micro batch framework, which means that not one, let's say multiple records, let's say this is second, let's say this is third. So a collection of records will be sent to the processing engine. Let's say this processing engine is Spark and Spark will process them all at once and will generate the result. So in a sense, it is not continuous processing, but the time fraction is so less that we all feel like it's a real time processing. But ultimately the Spark works in the micro batch mode. So let's uh, go to the next section. Okay, as we discussed like, right? Uh, so, so batch uh, processing systems take all of the recorders once and then generates the uh, result for us. Now it can be simple reports. Uh, simple reports can be sales report, okay? So let's take an example like the sales report can summarize the total sales figure for a specific period like uh, the it can be broken down by product reason or customer right then we have analytical reports so analytical reports can be let's say customer churn analysis uh, it can be like that where this report analyzes customer data to identify certain trends in customer for example the loss of customers so it may look at different factors like demographics, purchase history, and different support interactions to understand why customers are leaving. And, it, and then we can take action based on that. So those kind of reports uh, can be generated by the batch processing systems. So if we talk in terms of big data, so Apache Hadoop, when it came into picture, so as a batch processing system. Now let's take an example of stream processing system. Now, now Apache Spark, uh, as I discussed, is a stream processing engine. Also Apache Flink and there are several others, but we'll mostly focus, I want to mostly focus on the Apache Spark part of it. The, there are certain things that we need to understand um, for a stream processing system. So I have uh, mentioned it here. So first is unbounded, which means that the stream data does not have a finite end. So let's say a stream of data is coming in. So now it is unbounded. So you don't know what is the start and the, what is the end. It is continuously flowing in and the engine processing engine needs to capture and generate the result for us. Okay. Now let's say you want to do some aggregation in batch reports is very easy, right? Let's say you do some sum or count or average since you have thousand records. Let's set a, take an example. If you have thousand records, you can do some max mean whatever you want. But 
in stream processing systems you have to do windowed aggregation so we'll have to do windowed means let's say this is 10 this is 10 15 now you can ask questions like tell me the number of customers who visited the site between 10 and 10 15 because it will always be windowed aggregation you cannot do because this is unbounded you cannot do uh, aggregations just like you do in batch systems now uh, let's talk about what is micro batch as i already told so you have one event you have another event you have another set of events another set of events now this whole events all at once goes to the processing engine and then the result is generated now spark as i already told is a micro batch framework Continuous processing is where the individual records are coming in sent to the processing engine and the result is generated. So continuous processing is experimental in Apache Spark, uh, but still it's not production ready. All right. So this is the basic difference between batch processing systems and stream processing systems. Now I will give some example uh, the features uh, that actually segregate the batch processing system uh, from the stream processing systems. So on this screen you can see we have uh, certain features like data processing, latency, size, complexity, scalability and use cases. So uh, let's talk about them one by one. So if we take if we talk about data processing, so we already discussed like it will be large chunks of data right large chunks of data and basically uh, in stream processing the data will be uh, maybe one event at a time or maybe micro batch or let's say hundreds event hundred events then comes the latency so the latency for the batch processing systems will be mostly like uh, hours it can be days it can be uh, well <laughs> i'm not some months but uh, well in certain cases it can be uh, but yeah let's consider the like minutes day, days and hours can be the latency it will take that much time to process uh, the chunks of data but in real time processing it will be have maybe millisecond or seconds of latency so that is why it is like real time or near real time the data size obviously will be large and finite. For streaming systems, the data size, like a particular, let's say you want to process uh, event. So one record, maybe one event at a time or 100 events. So, so a particular trigger may not be that much use. And also it will be unbounded. As I already discussed, what is unbounded? So complexity means, let's say, if you're writing a batch systems, the logic to process uh, the batch uh, data may not be so complex as compared to the stream processing because of different consistency challenges here. It The writing something about writing code about the stream processing and how to maintain the state, how to uh, aggregate windowed uh, aggregations so those can be a little tricky. For scalability, you can add resources, add resources to your cluster. Let's say talk about, if you talk about Apache Hadoop or uh, Spark Batch, we can add more resources and we can take care of the additional data. But apart from adding resources, uh, the stream processing uh, systems need additional configurations, like how many events uh, max you can process how much uh, is the buffer size that you can take? So I'm talking about mostly in the pa uh, Apache Spark and the Kafka combination. So there are other uh, factors also that we need to tune to make it production ready. I will be talking about all of those in the upcoming videos. Now if you talk about use cases, as I already told, reports, very common. Then you can say that payroll processing. So whatever your salary you are getting at the end of the month, all are getting processed by the batch processing systems. 
and if you talk about real time or stream processing systems it can be very simple like fraud detection because it needs to happen in real time if a transaction is happening so within seconds or millisecond the customer needs to be notified whether it's uh, a fraud uh, transaction or it's a valid one then you have iot use cases where the sensor data analysis uh, can happen then you have stock price updates so these all requires very low latency and are very uh, frequently used uh, i mean the streaming systems are very frequently used for these use cases all right uh, so i think these are the basic differences between batch processing and stream processing i hope uh, i was able to make it clear to you if at all you have any questions uh, do leave those in comments i will definitely reply to you